Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to convert a Shopify website to WordPress in 2023. Whether you are looking to migrate your online store or simplify or simply, of course, switch platforms. Moving from Shopify to WordPress can offer you more flexibility and customization options. So in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process or the process step by step. So let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use Brave Browser and of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. And of course, before you begin the migration process, you will need to have a WordPress website and a running. And of course, it should be running. So if you haven't already signed up for a WordPress hosting provider and install the WordPress on your domain. And of course, once your WordPress website is ready, you can proceed to the next step. And of course, in your Shopify admin dashboard. So simply go and type Shopify on your URL section on whatever browser you're using. So go and type shopify.com and get access into your account. So simply if you have an account, again, click on login. If you don't have an account, simply go and click on start free trial. So for me, I'm just going to log in into my account as an example. Uh, let's just log in into this one. And here, just wait. So all those those are next. So let's just create another story example. Just click on skip all. Click here again and they are creating the store for me so i'll have just to wait a bit and of course for you and your shopify admin dashboard you'll have to go and navigate to the settings then click on your account then look for the data export section then select the data exports and choose the data you want to export such as products collection customers and orders and shopify will generate a csv file that contains your exported data you can simply download this file to your computer. So, example, I'm just going to here to this list panel, click on settings, as we said. And once we click on settings, we'll have to go and, and of course, just go to your account. And as I said, download your CSV file. And of course, to handle this e-commerce functionality on your WordPress web website, you will need to use WooCommerce. So, first of all, let's just go to our to our WordPress website as an example. And of course, I'm for me, I'm just going to access my local host directly. And of course, for you, just go and make sure that you have a WooCommerce plugin into your uh, account. If you don't have it, of course, you'll have to go and access your uh, local host and then make sure to go and install the WooCommerce plugin and your WordPress admin dashboard. Simply uh, let me just log in into my account here. And of course, simply you'll have to go into plugins here on your local host. So let's just wait a bit. And of course, go to plugins, go to add new and simply go and look for WooCommerce here. Type Woo, sorry, WooCommerce. And hit the enter button. Of course, I uh, type it not correctly. And make sure to go and install the plugin of WooCommerce. So let me just type it like correctly. Merce. Of course, I'll write something wrong. And here we are. So of course, make sure to go and install this plugin WooCommerce. Once it's installed, of course, we'll just wait for the installation. Uh, you will have to go and activate it, of course. And once activated, you will have to follow this setup wizard to configure the basic settings for your online store, such as the currency, uh, payments getaway, and shipping option. And of course, once you do so, you will have to go and import the Shopify data to WooCommerce. Of course, with the WooCommerce plugin installed, you can now import uh, your Shopify data and your WordPress admin dashboard. As you can see, once it's installed, click on activate, and we'll have to go and wait a bit. So. Uh, on your WordPress, of course, admin dashboard, you will have to go to the WooCommerce once it's installed. And here is it should be here. So simply go to settings. And as I said, set up your WooCommerce accounts and everything that comes with it. And of course, then you'll have to go navigate to the settings of it and click on the advanced tab and select import from the sub menu and choose the Shopify option and follow the instructions to import your Shopify CSV file that you downloaded from your Shopify store. Of course, WooCommerce will map the data field and import your products, your collections, your customers, your orders, your payments, uh, everything that you had in your Shopify will be imported here um, in uh, WordPress, of course, using the WooCommerce plugin. 
And of course, now that your Shopify data is imported into WooCommerce, it's time to customize the design on your WordPress website. You can choose a WordPress theme that suits your needs example and then sell it. You can even navigate to the appearance section to in your WordPress admin dashboard and click on customize. And here you can modify the website layout, colors, fonts, and other visual elements to match your branding and preferences. Then you can set up like some additional plugins example. So to enhance the functionality of your WordPress website, consider installing additional plugins. Depending on your requirement, you might uh, want to add the plugins for SEO, uh, security, contact forms, analytics, and more. You can search for the desired plugins in the plugin section again, as I showed you before, uh, of your WordPress admin dashboard, which is the local host, and install them and configure their settings accordingly. And of course, to ensure a smooth transactions to your existing uh, Shopify websites visitors, it's crucial to set up a URL redirects in your Shopify admin dashboard. You can simply go to your online store, click on navigation, look for the URL redirect section, and create redirects from your old Shopify URLs to their corresponding and new uh, WordPress URLs. Of course, this will help you maintain your website's SEO ranking and ensure that visitors land on the correct pages. And of course, before making your WordPress website live, uh, Thorough tests its functionality and appearance, uh, browse through the different pages, tests the checkout process, and, and ensure all links and images are working correctly. So once you're confident that everything is in order, go ahead and make your WordPress website live by updating your domain DNS settings to point or to your WordPress hosting provider. And of course, to enhance your uh, WordPress websites more, you can simply go to plugins again and make sure to go and disinstall or uh, and install any uh, plugins that you are not using, that you installed maybe uh, before and you are not using at the moment. Maybe this one, this one, this one for me. And of course, make sure to go and, and install them as an example. So once you check them, go here, go to not updates, delete, click on apply, click on OK. And of course, it should be applying soon. So we'll have to wait a bit and you will find them not there anymore. You can even go and upgrade them or update them if you still need them because updating them will even enhance your speed of your website. So make sure to do so. And you can even go and check some plugins that I said before to enhance your security and other stuff. And of course, you can find some recommendations on this channel of our YouTube channel or even on some uh, reddits you can go and check them out so if you reach the point of this video congratulations you've successfully converted your shopify website to wordpress in 2023 of course by migrating your wordpress uh, you now have more control over your website design and functionality remember to import your shopify data using the woocommerce plugin and customize your wordpress website design and set up url the redirect to maintain the seo rankings so if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. So thank you for watching and best of luck with your new WordPress website and I will see you in the next video.